Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil tutorial. Today we will learn about a mod that is not getting enough love and that is Vertex Paint mod. This mod has a lot of powerful features that not many people know about. So I'm pretty sure that we will learn a few things before the end of this video. Before we start and if you want to support the free content on this channel, there is the super thanks button under this video or you can check my Gumroad. All the files there are connected to free tutorials on this channel so you can get something for yourself and learn how to make it for free from this channel. I will also put these three files for you on Gumroad for free if you want to follow along with the tutorial. Donations of course are always welcome. The first thing that we need to be aware of in this mod are the selection tools. Selections will help us isolate some strokes to change their colors without affecting the other strokes. So to activate selections you need to click one of these three buttons here. These are called selection masks. The first one allows you to select points. The second one allows you to select whole strokes and the third one will select strokes between intersection notice that only when you activate one of these that you get the selection tools here so you select here and you see that you select only the segments between the crossings we have more selection tools if we click and hold you may be familiar with these from other modes and you can also cycle between them using the w shortcut Another way to select strokes if you are using the draw tool for example and you don't want to switch to these tools is to use the alt key and then left click on a stroke and you can select the whole stroke and shift alt will select more than one stroke shift alt again and to deselect you do alt a to select everything you do a alt a again you can also use c for circle select and select the strokes you want here we are selecting segments to escape to get out of this mode select the points mode again c and now you can select points like this and again to get out of this mode you do escape and if you open the select menu you get more tools and operators and you get all the shortcuts Control i to invert selections lasso selection you can change the modes here from set to extend to subtract these are common in other modes too and we have random select we have grouped select shift g to select all the strokes in a layer or select all the strokes with the same material some of these need to have a selection already to work like here you need to select a stroke with a material to then be able to select all the strokes with the same material this one color attribute is unique to this mode so let's switch to another file to see how it works let's deselect everything here select the first stroke let's use alt and then we can go to select color attribute and it should select strokes with the same colors as this one they have all unique colors but we have here in the last operation menu the threshold value that we can increase and this way it will start selecting strokes with similar colors and not only strokes but also points so here it started selecting some points here then threshold two three four and here it selected everything and it goes up to five so this can be very useful to select strokes of the same color or similar colors and then you can change the color of your selection without affecting the other strokes so once you select your strokes or points for example we can select this stroke using alt left click and then we do alternated to select alternated points we can use the draw tool to paint new colors here we have green so we can do this and we can have this effect here this disable overlays it's like a pajama effect <laughs> funny let's select the whole stroke again using l for linked let's paint half of it green or third of it let's change the color again to pink maybe 
I like pink. And then maybe a purplish color, I don't know. And now we can use these other tools. So we have the blur tool and the average tool. They are similar. The blur one will smooth the colors like this. And the average is supposed to paint the average color from the colors under the brushes area of influence. It smooths color just like the blur tool. So I guess you will learn the subtle differences by using them. And then we have the smear tool and this one will drag colors if you click on a place and then drag you will drag the colors like this with a bigger brush i guess it works better so you can get this kind of effect by using the smear brush and then you can smooth it out with the blur brush and you see that the other strokes that are not selected are not affected by our coloring game here then we have the replace tool and it only works if you have a vertex color already painted so if you go to draw mode and we draw a new stroke using the materials color it is set to green here let's draw a new stroke like this and back to vertex paint and we use the replace color here here we have blue you see that nothing happens and that is the difference between this tool and the draw tool so the draw tool we paint colors on any stroke you see first we need to select it let's do alt left click paint a color in one side only and then use replace and you see that it replaces only the half that has a vertex color so this is how it can be useful and now to the paint menu tools the first one is set color attributes it will work with the replace color if you are using this tool or with the draw color if you are using this tool and if we change to this tool let's do ctrl z set color attribute weird where does this green <laughs> come from so make sure you are in one of these tools set the color you want and then go to paint and set color attribute reset vertex color will remove color attributes from the stroke and reset it again to its original material colors so reset vertex color and note that this one works with points and this one works with whole strokes so here if i select a few points using the box select tool and do set color attribute you see that it only changes the selected points Control z if i do reset vertex color it will reset the whole stroke and not only these points now we have these ones invert will invert the colors of the selected points and you can choose to affect strokes and fill or fill only or stroke only let's do Control z and select the whole stroke with l then we have levels here we can play with the values and get darker or lighter colors and play with the gain too Control z again we have hue saturation here we can change the hue up or down and you can play with the saturation too and then we have brightness and contrast and here you can play with the brightness and contrast and these operators will work on the selected points too so if we do hue saturation again you see that it works only on the points that we selected Control z again and now there is one more thing to learn about is multi-frame mode so you go to a third file here in which we have this animation and i want to add some glow to it so let's go to the middle frame frame number 12 let's enable multi-frame let's select all the frames here and then we can start painting and it will affect all our frames so let's do it let's select our draw to let's select a light yellow i will choose this one and make it lighter and i think i'm gonna save it so plus we'll need it later we will paint this disaster overlays don't know what this blue thing is now we can play our animation and we have this but i don't want it like this so let's do Control z again we are in the middle frame and we will enable this option here use fall off so the fall off will tell blender to paint the frame in which we are in at 100 percent and then the further we go from that frame on either side there will be less and less painting we start painting let's increase the size so there is a trick you can do is to hit f to resize your brush and then instead of moving your cursor you type the value you want let's do just 80 and then enter like this maybe you add some orange let's make it fancy let's decrease the brush size again like this add some blur here here let's hit play and we have this 
let's add more to the in the middle frame frame 12 draw tool select our yellow here and let's paint the border of the lamp let's add some blur here and play again so I guess this is it again the super thanks button is under the video and the link to my gumroad to get any file you want from there either free or paid thank you for watching see you in another video and peace